हेलो वेलकम टू पब्लिक टीवी न्यूज यू आर वाचिंग स्पेशल इन्वेस्टिगेशन विद आमिर हबीब आवर टूडेज प्रोग्राम इज बेस्ड ऑन कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग कार रेंटल बिजनेस मेनली हाउ टू स्टार्ट इट हाउ टू रन इट सक्सेसफुली एंड व्हाट आर सम रिस्क फैक्टर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस बिजनेस एंड व्हाट इज प्रॉफिट रेशियो ऑल सच क्वेश्चन आर गोइंग टू बी आंसर्ड बाई आवर टूडेज स्पेशल गेस्ट हु इज रनिंग कार रेंटल बिजनेस इन सिक्स ईयर्स इन यू ए दर ऑफ फ्लाइंग स्टार रेंट अ कार मिस्टर अली Welcome to Public TV, Mr. Ali. It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me to Public TV. Ali, our first question is: There are many other business, but why you started only car rental business? Actually, uh, I was working for an airline, and uh, once I had rented a car, uh, so then I, re- I I had so many days off during my job, so I realized why don't I start a business? And there was a lot of demand from the crew and pilots and all the aviation staff. so i just had a good business plan and i started with the rent a car great what type of car mr ali you have in your company um in my business uh, i have focused i have mainly focused on economical cars uh, such as kia picanto nissan micra nissan sunny and mitsubishi lancer so these are all economical cars which suits my business plan okay please tell us that why people come to hire a car from only your company what is something special in your services actually when i had set up uh, this business plan um, i had had a target or i was targeting a audience where in uh, to keep things simple and economical affordable for customers to um, rent cars and uh, without having any stress or uh, difficulty so it's a stress free is easy rental and uh, reliable okay that's good now mr ali tell us that if somebody wants to start this business from where he should take start Uh, once again uh, for starting a business they should uh, set up a business plan uh, follow the uae uh, uh, rules and regulation and uh, they can uh, it's it's not that difficult to start uh, this rent a car business in the uae okay i forgot how much minimum investment required for this business for startup minimum of 50000 dirham with the government government fees they can start this business can you please tell us that what can be the best business plan for car rental business uh best business plan once again is to uh try and see what kind of tar- uh, target audience you have is it either economical uh, cars you want to target for luxury or mid range or you are mainly targeting for like uh big companies to give them good lease rate how many employees are required for initial level for this business once again it, it depends on the number of cars you are starting off with let's say if you're starting from 10 to 50 cars so having two staff in the office and having two drivers would be uh, okay i mean to start with okay can you please tell us that what is the profit ratio in this business uh, profit ratio once again it depends on the number of units you have in the car uh, it depends on uh, how many cash cars you have or how many bank cars you have so let's say if you're going for the cash car uh, roughly on each car you can get up to uh, 800 to 1000 dirham per car you can get a uh, profit Uh, on the other hand if you're going for the bank cars where in you're taking loan from the bank uh, i would say around initial basis roughly around 400 to 500 dirhams per month on each car and what is the best location for this business uh, uh, the location that you should look for for this business is you need to try and show that you are uh, uh, located in the on the main street or somewhere they can look at your shop or your advertisement and plus you need to try and ensure that you are uh, Uh, located near the businesses so you can target them for your rent a car okay how you market your business i mean to say how you get your customers like what is your marketing strategy okay so for my targeted audience or for my business uh, when i had set up a business plan i made sure that uh, nowadays through social media it's it's a good platform uh, plus you can try and do google adwords which are very much effective as well and there are much other ways you can do sms marketing or a market through some different platforms on social media there is too much competition in this industry how to defeat competitors okay once again uh, in this business definitely there are a lot of competition but you need to try and show you follow two uh, main objective where in you need to ensure that your prices are uh, not too high they should be in a low low uh, prices Uh, on the other hand your services should be uh, really good where in you you are you should always be available for your customers 24/7 and make sure the cars are very well maintained 
If you follow these two steps, you can defeat any competitor. Okay, what is your future plan about this business? You will keep this business or you will start another business? No, definitely I would like to stay in this business and I've been in this business for the last three years. I've seen a lot of growth. Um, I started off with two cars. Now we have uh, close to more than 100 cars. And uh, what my plans are for the future is to ensure, try and get at least 400 to 500 cars uh, in the coming year, inshallah. Okay, Mr. Ali, if somebody wants to become successful only in this industry, what he should do and what he should not do? Uh, in order for you to get success in this business, is you need to ensure you have a good business plan, you are focused, and uh, you need to follow the, the laws, rules and regulations given by the RTA and uh, just stay, stick to your rules and yeah. And what should he not do? Things you should not do is uh, th there are some regulations which you, which you need to follow. For example, when we are handing out the car to the customer, we try and ensure 100% that the, the documents which we are taking from the customers are valid. For example, driving license, uh, their Emirates ID, their visas. So you need to ensure that you are following those regulations uh, in order to give them the car. So if you are following those uh, regulations, plus when we take these documents, we make an agreement and we submit this agreement in the RTA system. So once that system is uh, followed, you are safe. But just in case, if you are not following either of these steps, then you are not secure in this business for sure. That's great, Mr. Ali. Now openly tell us that if somebody wants to become rich, what you should do? Uh, if somebody wants to become rich, there are two ways. Either there's a short way wherein you rob or you take the shortcut, which is not the right way. Uh, the other way is to do business and um, follow your dreams and fo stay focused. And that's the best way of becoming rich if you do a business in a right way. Okay, what do you suggest if somebody has less investment? What type of business he can start? If somebody has less investment, there are two things. Either uh, you're, if you're selling a product or you're following, uh, you're doing services. So if you're in a service industry, wherein, for example, if you have maintenance service, IT service, or marketing service, uh, these are the areas wherein you can do these businesses with less investment. And if somebody has good investment, then what you suggest? If somebody has good investment, as per my experience, uh, I would suggest them to do a rent-a-car. And uh, in this business, it, it is very profitable. Uh, in the coming years, uh, there's a good market for the rent-a-car. And uh, you can be very successful if you, uh, if you have a lot of, if you have a good investment. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Ali, to join our program. Uh, it was a great pleasure. Thank you very much. We wind up this program with huge thanks of Mr. Ali for giving his valuable views and ideas. Thank you very much for watching Public TV Media. For more news and program, keep watching publictvmedia.com and don't forget to subscribe our channel.